Hi, Ellen. Good day, James. How are you? Very well. Uh, just before we start, just uh, looking at the Australian's media section lead story, which says the Inside Business show is finishing up after 12 years. I didn't realise you were doing it so long. <laughs> That's a Time course. flies. Time <laughs> flies. Yes, well, I've been doing it for 12 years. And, um, yeah. And uh, yes, I told the ABC that um, I uh, didn't want to do it next year. Right. That was it. Right. After 12 years, I wanted to finish up. Yeah. Um, yeah, so then they said, imagine my surprise, they said, well, we won't keep going with the show then. So the show actually is defunct after you finish. No one's picking it up or anything like That's that. That's right. Yeah. My, my. And it's 12 years, always at that time? Um, Sunday mornings? Yeah, mm. always Sunday mornings. And really um, built up an audience there. It's been, it's been a solid uh, performer. Um, mm. It's been pretty good, but uh, obviously they've decided that they, they want to continue, obviously, to serve the business audience, but they want to do it in different ways and exactly mm. what that involves, I'm not sure. Right. Uh, from my point of view, it was a decision based on the need to spend more time on Eureka Report, really. That was right. That was it. I, know, I, want, to, I want to make my Saturday morning email even mm. better than it is. Good, good. Because uh, it's funny because you mentioned me inside business just on Saturday and you often mention it to people you've had, you have on. And we were talking about property on Saturday morning. Uh, the point I think you were trying to make is there's no bubble. There's a, there's a, housing's coming alive. Uh, and, but tell us what you were saying about SMS, SMSFs in the housing sector, and as they reach a natural allocation that they might have in property, that could really lift prices. Well, the allocation to residential property at the moment mm. is three point six percent on average. Yeah, be 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 because the SMSFs. And that's not natural. That's because they weren't able to borrow previously. Well, they weren't able to borrow uh, before two th September two thousand and seven yeah. was when the decision was made to allow mm. uh, super funds to borrow mm. non recourse yeah. against assets. Now, um, obviously, the GFC occurred then, and so nobody wanted to borrow yes. anything uh, for a while yeah, yeah. to buy anything. Yeah. Uh, uh, but now it's starting to take on and mm. take off, and people are starting to mm. um, to see the benefit of not only buying residential property in their SMSF, but also um, uh, borrowing yes. to do so. Yes. Um, uh, the total amount of money in SMSFs is $500 billion. 3.6% mm. represents about $18 mm. billion. Dollars. Right. Um, so that's the amount. That's where the maths that, came from. That's, so, yeah, that's yeah. the amount that's in residential property at the moment. Yeah. There's, a, there's a larger amount in commercial property because a lot of people with an SMSF yeah. are a business owner and business. they put their shop yeah. or factory yeah, in the in fund, the fund. Mm. Uh, but that's not what we're talking about. Mm. So as an investment, residential property is relatively low. Um, it, it probably will increase as an uh, as an average asset allocation. Yeah. Um, uh, what will it go to? I don't know. Um, but well, what would it go? It's not going to stay at three percent, is it? Well, it doesn't look like it. It'd be it, very strange sure. if it did. So, so yeah. So the the argument then is that 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 as they wrapped into the market and allocate more towards property inside their DIY funds, that could be uh, a stimulant to house price growth. Is that? Well, obviously, it, it can be, of course, yeah. and it depends the extent to which uh, the the money goes on new uh, housing mm -hmm. or old existing housing. Because mm -hmm. if it all crowds into new existing housing, then mm -hmm. that will drive prices up. Right. If it goes into uh, new housing, mm. then it solves their housing shortage. Right. Yes. So, um, and the, the thing is, that the, and the, the problem with it is that um, there's a lot of spruikers about who are working on behalf of developers mm. who are building little, large, lots of block, large yeah. blocks of flats yeah. in and develop housing developments, and um, uh, they're paying financial planners to put people into their developments. To put people into yeah, their which developments is really now, bad. it's good mm. to it's mm. good that money is flowing into new developments. Mm. That's fine. Mm. That's mm. Um, that's in a, in a sense that's desirable. But the mm. problem is if the prices of those developments yeah. are loaded up with marketing costs and commissions, yes. which makes it very very difficult for a decent return to be got. Yeah, yeah. Because the price is too high. Yeah. The price is not set by the market. Yeah. The price is set by a developer who's paying yeah. commissions to get their and money other back. marketing costs. So they're not yeah. only paying a commission to a financial planner, they're also coughing out a lot of money on on advertising. Yeah. And so on, that all goes into the price. Well, well, what advice would you give to people who are thinking about property and have a DIY fund? Do not go through a spruker. Uh, uh, search it out yourself. Yes. Do the research yourself. Yeah. Um, uh, buy at a market price if you can. Mm. 
Um, mm, so that might mean buying at auction, for instance. Well, yes. Yeah, it, it's it, a way of, no, at least it's transparent. But, but the trouble is you can't buy new developments at auction. Mm. You generally have to buy yeah. from the developer, yeah. which is a bit of a problem. But it, look, and, and that tends to be a bit like buying a new car, you know. As soon mm. as you drive it out of the showroom, mm. down it goes in value. And that mm. happens to a new, uh, probably happens to a new, new apartment as well. Okay. Whereas with a an existing apartment or, or a property, mm. if you buy at auction, you know you've paid the right the, the market price. The problem is if if um, you know there are a dozen SMSF trustees bidding against you <laughs> for the same property, yeah. you, you could end up paying too much. Okay, well, I'm sure that's not uh, an unlikely. That's probably going to happen somewhere. One last question: Your uh, observations on the London property market? They were entirely academic, were they? I haven't. Saturday. I haven't invested myself. No, but I've. I've mm. been thinking about it. Mm. Mm. Right. You know. <laughs> well, it'll be interesting. Offshore diversification. Well, now having been there, I, I now yeah. understand. Now I know a little bit. Of, I did some exploring of the of London yeah. while I was there, and kind of thinking that there are certain parts of it that are pretty prospective, mm. I guess. Right, yeah. We'll leave it at that. Thanks, Alan. Thanks.